This is a video to show Charter Spectrum's internet speed on their 400 megabit service. So what I'm going to do is run a few speed tests. I'm going to open these uh, just a handful of different tests in different tabs and see what kind of internet speeds I get to different different places on the internet. So I'm just going with the top like five hits here and we'll start my speed test with this with this one from Google now I'm on a PC and it's connected to my router through Wi-Fi I know from previous experience and a lot of testing that my Wi-Fi connection is good for 600 megabits download and 600 megabits upload that's real-world throughput just like this speed test, not a theoretical 600 megabits that actually gets like 200. Um, so here the Google test says 189 down, that's about half of what I should be getting, and 18.2 up, pretty close to what I should be getting. The next one is speedtest.net, and they choose, who do they choose as my server? Albany Telephone. Okay, that's, um, I don't know how close that is to me, but whatever, that works, I guess. So, definitely looking better than the Chicago one. 412. And looking like I'm pretty close to 20 for upload. All right, once that's finished, I'm going to go to Xfinity. This is the uh, competitor for Charter Spectrum, so it'll be interesting to see how much bandwidth they give to a competing company. Even though they're in, um, they don't really compete for market space, I don't think, because they're each a monopoly in their own market space. But again, this server is local to me. I'm in the greater Minneapolis area in the northwest suburbs. But 30 seconds seems like a lot of latency for being local. Speakeasy. This one goes all the way to Chicago. I think that first Google one was in Chicago as well. But interesting that this one it was like BAM right away it was really close to 300 whereas some of the other tests slowly ramped up to 300 this is actually pretty impressive that's that's a lot better than I thought it would be Next test, um, this should be the best result because this is local to me. Look how slowly that ramps up though. Four thirty, so that's more than four hundred. and about 22 up. I like the upload on that. And then my last one, I'll hit start. I wonder where that latency is bouncing all over the place. All right. <laughs> my tachometer changed. This is showing like 450. That's interesting. And notice right here, I, I should have mentioned earlier, this network graph, you can see graphed results of, uh, of throughput. I don't know why it's showing that it's still uploading. Well, I guess it is. That's the little red, the red line, I bet. Yeah, that was red. Upload was red. Okay, so we've done all of those speed tests, 347 down, 22 up, 
So I would say pretty consistent by down 347, 430, 410, 388, 412, and 189. And then upload is 18, 21, 20, 21, 22, 22 and 22 so uh, pretty pretty good average pretty close to the speed tests or this you know the results that I would expect um, what's interesting I noticed this lately I'm gonna download a torrent so if I just do Santos and then I go to their website via torrent click that and then We'll download the everything torrent. We'll open open that. We'll hit add. Now, theoretically, what makes BitTorrent so cool is that it can get around bottlenecks because I'm downloading this from, what is that? I don't know if this means I'm downloading it from 150 people or two people or nine people or what. But I know that my download speed here, when I first when I first got the, the 400 meg service, it was pegged at like 56 megabytes per second. And if you take whatever this number is times eight, um, that's the megabits per second. So if I do a calculator, And then we'll just look, you know, 32 megabytes per second. So 32 times 8 is 256 megabits per second. That's that's way less than 400. I should be getting, I should be getting, let's see here, 400 divided by 8. This should be pegged at 50. To get for 400 megabits a second, this my actual download speed should be 50, but it's not. It's um, it's always like 200 some megabits. It tops out at, and I don't know why. I mean, the whole reason that I bought the 400 meg service is so that I could I could use it for big downloads, like during torrents. Like this is a 10 gig file and I'm downloading it at like half the speed that I should be getting it at. So I, that's frustrating. I think that's my biggest gripe about Charter Spectrum right now is that yeah they give you good speed to the speed test server but when you want to download a real file from the internet that's like not their speed test server you're getting like half the speed that that you're paying for and that's frustrating and I know it didn't used to be like that either like the first few nights I got it I did all kinds of testing and it was it was almost always like, like my download rate would be pretty steady around like 56 or 57 megabytes per second let me see what that is 57 times 8 is 456 megabits per second so that's uh, that's what I got like the first couple days um, but now I, th I think no matter what I download it's it doesn't matter if it's CentOS or if it's something else I mean if need be if we think that you know maybe I'm limited um, maybe I'm limited because there's just not that many other um, people that I'm downloading from. I wonder how I can see that. Is that peers? Yeah, I think this shows my progress rate. I'm downloading from all of these people. Yeah, there's my download speed from each one of these people. There's like, that's a lot of different. Let me see if I can just pick something. No, okay. So we can see that I'm downloading from oogles of, of different amounts of people here. So 
the bottleneck there shouldn't be any bottleneck this is that's the beauty of BitTorrent is that it will max out a network connection as far as download speed because it's downloading from you know like a couple hundred different people at the same time and they're all in different places and take different network paths to get to me so anyways that's uh, it's kind of frustrating I mean I guess it's a first world problem to be complaining about <laughs> download speed this fast um, you know 20 some mid high 20 megabytes per second but still if I'm paying for 50 why am I getting 20 something this is like half of what I should be getting and it doesn't matter if I do if I download like all these torrents at the same time it uh, their aggregate speed is always at like this level instead of 50 so I know it's not it's not because of a limitation on you know on these couple hundred you know different people that I'm downloading from the bottleneck is um, it's it's I'm pretty sure it's the service provider it's spectrum rate limiting rate limiting BitTorrent and I don't know if there's anything I can do about it other than be mad I mean there's really no competition here so I'm just kind of stuck with them you know like they the next thing I could do is get like 10 megabit internet service like that's the next best thing which is that's a real bummer but um, I guess we could look at the time mark and see how long it took for this 10 gig uh, torrent to download but it should have taken about half the amount of time that it actually did take I can tell you that all right well that's that I guess that really concludes my video um, that's that's charter spectrums 400 megabit service thank you for watching